Hi guys, this is Levis from the A&L Show. Um, on my way, right while well, I'm already here, to go see the movie Beekeeper with Jason Statham. Um, my expectations are low. It's an action movie. It seems like a B-rated or C-rated action movie, but I do like Jason Statham. It seems to be funny and good in action. So, the movie is literally about Beekeeper who literally goes kills people. Or is uh, an assassin, a government agent, former, whatever the case is. If you ever seen a Jason Staten movie, it's a Jason Staten movie. And if you guys haven't, then it's a generic action movie that they do something wrong to somebody. And then he goes out for revenge and kills everybody. I probably said the whole movie pretty much, but... Hey. Uh... Like I said, it could be a little bit fun to review. I could have some laughs out of it. And if it's like that bad, I could just make fun of the movie whatsoever. So, regardless, I'll let you guys know what I think of the movie right after I come out. See ya. Well, guys, just finished back from actually seeing Beekeeper with Jason Statham. As I stated, I was not expecting much. But uh, just a regular stupid fun action movie. And this over delivered more than I actually thought. And not just in the action part. It gave me reminiscence of when I first saw the first John Wick. And in storytelling it kind of is in a way. Kind of like point for point. Like the first John Wick. So, right now, for for what I stand, that might be my number one movie this year that I've seen. And no, I have not seen much besides Night Swim and well, what else did I see? Oh, and the ISS. But Beekeeper? Oh, man. Yeah. So it starts out with obviously the main character Jason Statham like he's um basically being how do I say it? shown hospitality and everything by a uh, older lady who has a you know she's retired has a bunch of money in the farm and everything and she gave him a home you know so he could work on the bees and stuff like that and by the way, there's a lot of bee puns, but I didn't mind it, like, but there's a lot of bee puns. But, um, he, so pretty much, um, it starts out like, you know, he's doing his thing, like, she offers him his meal, he's like, nobody really offers me meals and stuff like that, you know, like, showing good faith, showing, like, the old lady, like, you know. Showing compassion and stuff like that towards him that nobody else really shows. So, the lady, something happened and they're scammers, which that's the main villain of the story. with scammers, which involve like kind of like mafia hit and stuff like that. But it's like young people, like obviously in this modern age. And you show the process basically of them taking her, all her life savings, her banks, her stuff that goes to charity and everything, just takes it all away. And then she ends up dying. Or I don't know whether if it was the stress or she killed herself or who knows and whatever the case may be. So, And he happens to come inside when that happens. The daughter, which is like FBI or whatever, pops in. Be like, why are you doing in the house? They're like, you know, she didn't know she, who he was. Blah, blah, blah. Now, the term beekeepers is he does beekeeping job, but it's actually a retired, like, uh, security, like, assassin. I don't know what you call it now. I, I probably forgot the term. Um... I want to. I don't want to say FBI. I don't want to say secret. Kind of like a secret agency, in a way. 
that basically the where there is no law and whatever the case may be like you know they call them to withhold the balance and they have their own codes and shit like that which is pretty cool honestly once you see it you'll kind of get it but the movie explains it better in a way i will have to see it a second time which i possibly will to understand the whole thing basically but it was pretty it was pretty cool mythology in a way so he starts hunting them down, wrecking fools, basically. Then they start trying to be like, oh, who's that? Or like, oh, you just start the beekeeper. And, like, they knew who the beekeeper was or what a beekeeper is. And they have to get other beekeepers to, like, try to take him down and stuff like that. After that, it was just a whole, you know, going on vengeance. Like, him mercilessly tackling and getting all them scammers and all this other shit. And totally gets to, you know, from the higher boss to the higher boss to the higher boss. To, it goes all the way like honestly if you have comments it's like this is a goofy movie yes it's a it's like a pure 90s action movie or if you ever watch john wick type thing like you just gotta believe the world that they're in it's obviously not real life so take that with a grain of salt but if you're in that mindset like you want to go at the whole popcorn fun um action movie this is it this is a great one. I recommend it. Um, I was hyped throughout too. And it got me thinking. Basically on my way to the house. I'm like, I'm like wow. I am so glad this was not crap. Basically. Because originally I'm like yeah. I'm probably going to be like. I'm going to rate this like probably like a 4 or 5. Or this that whatever. No for me this was an 8. I rate this an 8 out of 10. Like I said, not a perfect movie. There are some loopholes. There are some things if you really think about it. But if you're, when it comes to the main ingredients, it's keep me entertained. Show me some good action. Story makes sense. Makes me feel something. Which I'll like, once the grandma died because those damn scammers and how ignorant and that's whatever. I'm like, yeah, kill them all. Type shit. Makes you be like, yes, like. Hunt him down, hunt the father down, hunt all them associates down, and stuff like that. But, like I said, I could go with some negatives of, like, pinpoint, like, the villain villain is goofy, is modern age, is like, eh, like, you know, whatever the case may be. But that's the role, you know, and I get that point, that's the role. Like, I know I could be bitching at other movies I don't like. That shit don't make sense or die or not. But it's like, here, within the context, within the movie, within the actual story and the world, it makes sense. So, it's something I do recommend checking out whenever you get the chance. It's probably going to be soon in VOD or whatever. But I recommend if you want something to watch... Something action, something to kill time, or just that, whatever. This is a good movie to go to. So, if you watch Beekeeper, tell me what you think. If you like Jason Statham movies, John Wick movies, action movies, what's your favorite action movie? Write down in the comments below. Um, I apologize again as I've been. I took a hiatus through some issues with my, myself and whatever, but back to watching some movies and there's going to be a whole lot of reviews in the, these coming weeks especially this coming weekend that i'm going to be posting this so um let me know what you guys think below and i'll see you guys for the next review